Hello guys, welcome to the 12th tutorial on learning peak microcontrollers with MPLAB X and X8 compiler. So this is an interesting tutorial in which we learn how to use the UART module in our peak microcontroller to establish a communication between our computer and the peak microcontroller. So at the end of this project, you'll be able to learn how to send data from your computer to your peak as well as from your peak to the computer. So you can send any commands from your laptop or your desktop to the microcontroller and you can make it execute any particular task that you wish to do. So now, in this video I'll be showing how the simulation works and how the actual hardware works. If you want to know the complete working of the coding, then you have to head to circuitdigest.com where the explanation of the code will be present. So this is the code. This is the complete code. The documentation will explain you the purpose of each and every line in this code. So if you want to know how to uh, enable UART in your PIC microcontroller, then you should head, head to circuitdigest.com and learn it. The description uh, link for the same will be given in the description. So now, let's get into the simulation part. As you can see, this is the simulation of the hardware. There's an LED which is already present in our perf board and a virtual terminal to monitor the serial data. Now. Uh, what happens here is whenever I send command like 1 from my computer, whenever I press the key 1 from my computer, the LED there will be turned on and whenever I press 0, the LED there will be turned off. So now let's try to simulate it. Just click on play button and here is the virtual terminal which gives us the introduction message. You what module initialized and active. So this message was given as a string inside the program and we get it over here. Now let me echo characters. It's already selected. Okay. Uh, let, uh, if we select actor characters whatever we type in will be reflected back to so we can it is whatever we type in will be visible so that you can see what is happening here now let me press one and as soon as i press one you can see one and red led is on the led here is turned on so whenever i press zero it turns off so whenever i press one it's turning on whenever i press zero it turns off so the simulation is working fine now let's see if you can get the same on the hardware so let's close it and see how our hardware looks like so this is my laptop's webcam as you can see the hardware is connected to my laptop this is the hardware part and it is connected to my laptop so the LED which will turn on based on the command is this red color LED so let us move on and okay now uh, let's see how we can actually uh, use this so we need an application called hyper terminal so this application will also be uh, provided in the website called circuit edges the link for the same will be given in the description so as soon as you click the application this pop-up window will appear now head to setup and port configuration Okay, so my port number here is COM17, but it might differ. So if you want to check out which COM your module is currently connected to, then you should check device manager and COM and LPT. So you can see that COM17 is the one that's currently being connected. So it will be COM17. And then I'll explain a bit about the hardware section too. So this is a hardware as I told you earlier. Uh, this connection is very very simple. We just have three connections to make if you're completely new to this perf board Then I would advise you to head back to this LED blinking program where I'll be explaining how to use how to make this perf board so that you can make all your programs in it Now I'll explain you the connections. There are totally three connections to be made one is the ground pin So all these bursts are ground pin of the big microcontroller. We have to make the ground of this UART module connected to this PIX microcontroller so we are just connecting the two ground pins and then the RX pin is connected to the 25th pin of the PIX microcontroller which is the RX pin of the PIX and the TX pin as you can see the RX and TX is mentioned here the TX pin is connected to the 26th pin as given in the circuit diagram so the circuit diagram again is nothing but the schematics that I showed you as you can see the RX is connected to the 25th and the TX is connected to the 26th pin Okay, now let's check how this hardware works. I'll keep this side by side and open the hyper terminal here. Okay, the hyper terminal is here and the output of the project is here. Now, let me connect it. So, COM17 is where my module is connected and the baud rate is 9600 according to the program. So, just click on connect. Now, the connection is established. I'll go ahead and turn on my perf board. So, once I turn on the board, the light is already on according to my previous command. 
and I get a message UART module initialized and active. Now I can either talk, I can toggle the LEDs. So I keep my cursor here and let me turn it off first. Okay, it's off. And I get the message red is off. And then I turn it on again. It's on. So it says the status LED is on. You can keep on playing around with it so you can make it. So it's up to you. You can uh, you can either connect a motor over there, you can turn it on, turn it off, or connect a servo motor, and you can give the duty cycle for the servo motor from the serial monitor. So the cre oh, that's it. So it's left to your creativity now. You can do whatever you would like to know. And uh, with this, I'm completing my video. Thank you.